सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन टू डेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पी आई बी न्यूज फ्रॉम एटीन टू ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो लेट्स बिगेन विद द सेशन विदाउट एनी डिले एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच से वेयर हाउसिंग डेवलपमेंट रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी हैज साइन एन एम यू विद स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया टू प्रमोट अवेयरनेस अबाउट produce marketing loan to exclusively fund against e and wrs electronic negotiable warehouse receipt now what is this e and wr we'll talk about it don't worry what is the maximum amount of loan that can be taken under the produce marketing loan that is the question right produce marketing loan ke under uh, kitna maximum amount of loan liya ja sakta hai that is the question but before that what is warehousing development regulatory authority what is wdra so basically remember it is a statutory body wdra is a statutory body which was established under warehousing development and regulation warehousing development and regulation act of 2007 right it was established in the year 2010 under this act and that is why it is a statutory body any body which has been established under any act is considered as a statutory body all right so it was established in the year 2010 and it it is headquartered in new delhi where it is located where it is headquartered it is headquartered in new delhi now the major function of wdra which is uh, warehousing development regulatory authority is to implement the e nwr system in the country is to implement the e nwr system in the country and also to implement Uh, and also to effectively implement the provisions of wdr act of 2007 so this is something about wdra i hope this is clear now what is e nwr electronic negotiable warehouse receipt ye kya hota hai let's say we have a farmer here right we have a farmer here let's name him a isko a naam de dete hain theek hai so now uh, uh, in, in this season let's say he has harvested his crop he has harvested his crop and he has a lot of produce ye iska bahut sara produce hai right now currently he believes that the right price the market price of his produce is not up to the mark right isko aisa lagta hai ki jo uh, isko iske produce ka isko jo price milna chahiye tha wo abhi market mein nahi mil raha so what will what can he do with this produce he can store this produce to any wdra registered warehouse right ye kya kar sakta hai apne produce ko wdra registered warehouse mein jaake store kar sakta hai theek hai and in return this warehouse will give this farmer a receipt right a receipt which is known as what electronic negotiable warehouse receipt now what benefit will it uh, will it have to the farmers with the help of this e nwr which is electronic negotiable warehouse receipt the farmer can avail loans the farmer can avail loans now he does not have to uh, you know pledge his entire produce he can avail the loan with the help of this e nwr now he he does not have to transfer his produce physically wo is e nwr ki madad se hi wo avail uh, kar payega loan ko right let me repeat all this so this was a farmer a he has harvested his crop and has a lot of produce but currently he believes that the right price of market uh, the right price of produce he is not getting so what can he do he can store his produce to a wdra registered warehouse and that warehouse will give a receipt in return of those stored produce right and that receipt is known as what enwr and with the help of enwr the farmer can avail loan from any bank राइट उसी ई एन डब्ल्यू आर को प्लेज रख के वो लोन ले सकता है ठीक है आई होप द मीनिंग ऑफ ई एन डब्ल्यू आर इज क्लियर फिर भी अगर क्लियर नहीं हो रहा है तो यू कैन आस्क इन द कमेंट सेक्शन अगर कोई डाउट है तो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस न्यूज सो वेयर हाउसिंग डेवलपमेंट रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी हैज साइन एन एमओयू विच स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया फॉर क्रिएटिंग अवेयरनेस अबाउट द प्रोड्यूस मार्केटिंग लोन टू प्रमोट अवेयरनेस अबाउट द न्यू लोन प्रोडक्ट विच इज प्रोड्यूस मार्केटिंग लोन to exclusively fund against enwr now this produce marketing loan what is it remember it is a product which offers the facility of loan of course it is a, a loan product 
So under rate, what will happen is that the loan against the security of fungible farm produce either stored at farmer's own place or go down or stored in accredited or non-accredited warehouses. So loan in sabhi pledges ke against milta hai. But what WDRA will do under this MOU, WDRA farmers ko ye bolega ki apne gharo pe store karke mat rakho, gharaab na ho jaye. So you can store that produce to the WDRA registered warehouses which will give you the ENWRs and with this ENWRs we can avail this produce marketing loan which you can help which, with, with the help of which you can market your produce right to iski madad se farmers kya kar sakte apne produce ki marketing kar sakte now the maximum loan limit under produce marketing loan is rupees 50 lakh and there is no processing fee and if the loan you know if the farmer is taking loan against ENWRs then no additional collateral is required kisi tarike ka koi additional collateral ki zarurat nahi padegi theek hai now wdra uh, Negotiable warehouse receipt system ke baare mein aap ko already bata diya it was launched in the year 2011 just remember this it allows the transfer of ownership of a commodity stored in a warehouse without having to deliver it physically as i told you these receipts are issued in negotiable form which means the value can be negotiated making them eligible as collateral right and they are available only in the electronic form wo to uske naam se hi pata chal raha hai <coughs> right so that is all about this news and the maximum loan that can be taken under this product is rupees 50 lakh so therefore option e is the correct answer moving ahead to question number two recently over 200 tribal women from jharkhand were, facil were felicitated for successfully completing training under phase three of grammy nudyami project you have to identify the incorrect statement about this project this project we have discussed a lot of times already but today also let's discuss because you have said that you will not have read it. So this is for them. Grammy Nudyami project. If we talk about it, so what is the objective? We can easily derive the objective of any particular project or scheme or program from its name only. So what is the name? Grammy. Grammy means what? Rural. And Nudyami means what? Skilled person or you can say employed person. So basically, what government is doing under it? The government is providing skill training to the rural people, right? Skill training to the rural people in various areas to provide them with the employment opportunities and to keep a stop on the migration, to reduce the forced migration, right? So the objective, what is the objective? Now we can read it to expand the rural or local economy, enhance employment opportunity, uh, reduce forced migration and conservation of natural resources that these are the Objectives of Grammy Nidhimi project, which are almost clear from the name only. It is a parent scheme under Sansadiya Sankul Pariyojana. Now, this Sansadiya Sankul Pariyojana, it is not uh, important for the examination because much details are not available. Right? It, implementing Ministry, of course, it is Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship we, because we are talking about uh, uh, skill development. Okay? Talking more about it, so it is being implemented and funded by an organization which works under the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, which is National Skill Development Corporation. And it is currently being implemented in six states, which you have to remember the names of these six states are important. Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand and Gujarat. These are the six states where this Grameen Udhami project is being implemented. In its first phase, candidates uh, were, uh, you know, mobilized from rural and tribal areas of Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. And in the second phase, it was launched in Ranchi, which is of course in Jharkhand. Okay? And the training is provided in these areas, electrician and solar PV installation technician, plumbing and masonry, two-wheeler repair and maintenance, IT with e-governance and farm mechanization. So in these five areas, the, the skill training is being provided uh, under Grammy Nudyami project. And with the help of that skill training, the rural people are getting there, are having their employment. Okay. So that is all about Grammy Nudyami project. Let's identify incorrect statement about it. It was launched to augment skill training in tribal communities for the inclusive and sustainable growth. Correct. It is being implemented under Sansadiya Sankul Pariyojana. This is also correct. Uh, it is funded 
or implemented by NSDC. This is also correct. It is being implemented in phased manner in six states, which are Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, and Gujarat. So the correct answer must be option E. Under it, training is given to candidates from rural and tribal areas in cyber security, software coding, AI. No, not in these areas. Areas like plumbing, masonry, two wheeler repairing. In sub area, my training is jari hai. Not in these areas mentioned in option E. <coughs> so option E is the correct answer. Let's talk about question number three then. Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Daring recently has conducted planning meeting for Sagar Parikrama phase three. So now it's the time for phase three of Sagar Parikrama. Sagar Parikrama, uh, the phase one was launched last year in the year 2022 and now we are at the phase three. So where will the phase three of this program be organized or you can say where uh, it is being organized. Okay. So let's talk about Sagar Parikrama and it is in news because the third phase of Sagar Parikrama has been launched and this third phase, all the discussions are taking place in Maharashtra and in this third phase will also take place in Maharashtra only. Okay. Now why? To resolve issues of the fishers and other stakeholders and to facilitate the fishers and fishermen and the other stakeholder, their economic upliftment. ठीक है उनके इकोनॉमिक अपलिफ्टमेंट की बात की जाएगी अंडर सागर परिक्रमा योजना ठीक है जी नाउ टॉकिंग मोर अबाउट इट सो ऑब्जेक्टिव की अगर हम बात करें तो ऑब्जेक्टिव इसके तीन मेजर ऑब्जेक्टिव है ठीक है जो कि बहुत ही बेसिक है नंबर 1 टू फैसिलिटेट इंटरेक्शन विद फिशरमैन कोस्टल कम्युनिटीज एंड अदर स्टेक होल्डर्स फिशरमैन कोस्टल कम्युनिटीज एंड अदर स्टेक होल्डर्स टू डिसेमिनेट इंफॉर्मेशन about various schemes, various programs of the government of India, which can give benefit to these fishermen or the coastal community people or other stakeholders in this area, right? Then to promote responsible fisheries with sustainable balance. Now we are, we are talking about sustainable balance and responsible fisheries between utilization of marine fisheries for food security of nation and livelihoods of the fishermen. Right now, we have to focus on the food security and the livelihood uh, of the fishermen and we need to create a sustainable balance between these two, right? And to protect the marine ecosystem. It was launched in the month of March 2022. The phase one was launched, as I told you, March 2022 from Mandvi to Por Bandar, which is in Gujarat. And in phase two, entire Gujarat state and Daman and Diu and Dadra and Nagar Haveli UT were covered. Second phase mein Pura Gujarat or Pura Daman and Diu and Dadra and Nagar Haveli jo UT hai wo Pura cover hua tha. And in the phase three, this phase three uh, is being implemented or will be implemented in Maharashtra. Thik hai? Now implementing ministry of course is the ministry of fisheries, animal husbandry and dairy. Alright, so I hope uh, this is clear and now let's answer this question. So where will the phase three option B Maharashtra without any doubt is the correct answer. All right. And now let's move ahead to the questions in short, which do not need much explanation. And before that, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the telegram channel, right? This telegram channel, the link is in description. And if you want to ask anything related to examination, you can follow me here. And yes, the live classes are going on. So if you want to ace the examination this year, you can enroll in the live classes by visiting anujindal.in. So, now let's talk about question number 4. Ki. Which ministry has organized the second edition of Hackathon, which is named as Senya Ran Shetram 2.0 from October 2022 to January 2023 to seek solutions to operational cyber challenges and to develop innovative solutions in the cyber security area? So now when we are talking about Senya Ran Shetram, it must be Ministry of Defense. So option C, Ministry of Defense headed by Rajna Singh is the correct answer. Question number five, where was Resiliency and Sustainability Summit uh, co-organized by Department of Science and Technology with National Institute of Disaster Management and United Nations Development Program? and JIS India. So the, uh, it was organized, the nodal agency to organize this resiliency and sustainability summit was the Department of Science and Technology. But collaboration kiska aya? National Institute of Disaster Management, UNDP and JIS India. 
Now you should remember the co-organizers. All these four co-organizers are important and it was organized in New Delhi. Option E is the correct answer. Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Mansukh Mandavia, who is also the Minister of Chemical and Fertilizer, has presented India at Health and Healthcare Community Dinner, which international organizer, uh, organization has organized it. So currently, World Economic Forum is going on at Davos. Option B is the correct answer. This is headed by Professor Klaus, Klaus Schwab, who was the founder of World Economic Forum, Professor Klaus Schwab. And World Economic Forum is headquartered in Colony, which is in Switzerland. Question number seven. Where will the Ministry of Textiles, headed by Piyush Goyal, organize Virasat, which is celebrating handloom, home decor, special handloom expo to showcase the home decor products made by the handloom? Once again, the correct answer is New Delhi and I believe there is no need to go into the details of such news. Okay, not at all required. Question number 8. According to recently released survival of the richest report. Now in this report, only this one fact is important. Uske lava, this report is not important, but this fact is important. So survival of the richest report is the name of the report published by Oxfam International. India's top 1% owned more than 40.5% of its total wealth in 2022. <laughs> and SMA, we are talking about equality. So, okay. Now, the truth is Which organization had released this report? So, it was released by Oxfam International. Question number 9. Which declaration was adopted at the end of Think 20 T20 meeting, which was held under the ages of India's G20 presidency? The T20 meeting took place in Bhopal and that's why the declaration is also called Bhopal declaration. And these four things were adopted, right? Number one, all stakeholders will focus on inclusive development care for the welfare of every section of society, which means inclusive development. Number one point is what? We will be talking about inclusive development, right? Then encourage model of development led by women. Right? Matlab, hum development led by women ki baat karenge. Then bridge the gap between north and south, northern world and southern world. And promote traditional medicine systems like Ayush. Okay? <coughs> so option C, Bhopal declaration is the correct answer. And the last question for today, the third meeting of steering committee of Kane Bethwa Link project uh, was held in New Delhi. This link project is critical for the water security and social economic development of Bundelkhand region. It is a flagship project of center in which two states, so two states are there. Both these rivers, Kane and Betwa, flow through Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. And that's why the answer is option D, A and B, Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. Alright, so that's it for today's class. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. So, we'll see you in the next class. Wednesday, goodbye, take care, and God bless.